In this lecture, we are going to learn about theorem of three moments, which is also called Clapeyron's theorem. And before we go to the statement of this theorem, let us first understand what the statement means. Conceptually, this theorem is applicable for continuous beams and for any given continuous beam, we select two consecutive spans, say A, B, C in this case, then at the ends of beam segments of these two spans, there will be bending moments MA, MB and MC in this case. And for these two consecutive spans, we can draw two corresponding simply supported spans that is beam AB and beam BC. They have same geometrical properties and loadings, but rather than being continuous spans, they are simply supported individually. And because they are simply supported beams, they are statically determinate and we can draw their bending moment diagrams using equilibrium equations. So the theorem of three moments relates the bending moments at the ends of beam segments of two consecutive spans to the bending moment diagram for corresponding simply supported spans. And the statement is MA L1 upon I1 plus 2MB L1 upon I1 plus L2 upon I2 plus MC into L2 upon I2 equals to minus 6 into A1 X1 L bar divided by I1 L1 plus A2 X2 R bar divided by I2 L2. And here note that MA, MB, MC are bending moments at cross sections A, B and C. L1 and L2 are lengths of the spans 1 and 2 and in this case they are AB and BC. I1 and I2 are second moment of area for spans 1 and 2 and that again in this case are AB and BC. And here A1 X1 L bar is first moment of area under bending moment diagram of corresponding simply supported span 1 about left end of the span 1. For span 1, we write first moment of area under the bending moment diagram about the left end of the span that is end A. Similarly, A2 X2 R bar is first moment of area under bending moment diagram of corresponding simply supported span 2 about the right end of span 2 that is for span 2 we write first moment of this area under bending moment diagram about this end that is end C of span BC. Now this equation of three moment theorem is written given only E is constant but if I is also same for both the spans then I1 is equals to I2 and in that case this I from the denominator on both sides will cancel and we are left with MA L1 plus 2MB L1 plus L2 plus MC L2 equals to minus 6 A1 X1 L bar divided by L1 plus A2 X2 R bar divided by L2 and the symbols have their usual meaning. Now there are some important points that we have to keep in mind when solving the equation of theorem of three moment. And first is knowing the difference between support moment and bending moment. The support moment is moment of resistance provided by different types of supports. For example, the fixed support which is shown like this provides non-zero support moment whereas the hinge support and roller support provide zero support moment. So in this example at P, Q and R we have either hinge or roller supports. So support moments provided by all these supports will be zero. Now bending moment 
is resultant of all the bending stresses at any cross section and the bending moment at exterior hinge or roller support is zero whereas the bending moment at interior roller or hinge support is non zero this you have to keep in mind so at exterior hinge or roller support both support moment and bending moment are zero whereas at interior hinge or roller support support moment is still zero but bending moment is generally non zero next for overhanging beam the bending moment at overhang support can be determined using fbd of overhanging part for example in this beam a b c d the part c d is overhanging so if i consider free body diagram of overhang part that is of part c d then using this free body diagram if i write the moment equilibrium equation about point c then the bending moment mc at c can be obtained and this we will treat as non bending moment in our equation of theorem of three moment and third point if there is a fixed support in our continuous beam then we add an imaginary span on the other side of the fixed support with values of all the parameters like length bending moment area under the bending moment diagram equals to 0 and apply the theorem of three moments for imaginary span and the span next to the fixed support so in this case here we have a fixed support at a so i add an imaginary span on the other side of the fixed support with in support at the other end and let's call that a dash then this length if i call it l0 will be 0 m a dash will be 0 and area under bending moment diagram for corresponding simply supported span will also be 0 and we will write theorem of three moment for span a dash a b also so that will give us one additional equation once we write the equations using theorem of three moment for all the pairs of consecutive spans for a continuous beam then these equations can be solved to find bending moments at the ends of all the beam segments in our continuous beam then using those bending moments we can consider free body diagrams of all the spans and find end shears and that we will see through an example so for that you can watch my videos of examples